Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Yowe Museveni aliamua kumasaji William Ruto na kumplease before the governor of the World Bank hata wezana nayo and he came out telling these African presidents including William Samoe Ruto the truth and as I was just listening to your William Museveni at African Heads of State Summit when it comes to the issue of banking remember your William Museveni is coming out to tell this World Bank and other lending institutions about the Caribbean KICC together with African presidents. Your William Museveni tried to clash a bit with this World Bank and these international lending institutions as he is claiming there is no need for a president in Africa to rely on one bank, to rely on IMF, and to rely on these international lending institutions. And his attention towards this African presidents, UAM 70 is saying that this narrative that these institutions has been always telling as we as Africans, that they have, they have a plan they have this and this to make us feel better in Africa, which for Yoweri Museveni is claiming haoni kitu kama hiyo. These people are having another agendas. These people are not critically uh, doing what they are seeing. Because this issue of that we have a plan, we have a plan, we have a plan. So Yoweri Museveni is coming out to say, E amechoka na hizi ma story amechoka na hii ma story ya kulend yani kuboro ataka ataki he wants to develop Uganda without borrowing you know and he wants to be independent as a president in Africa you no know? you know he's the president of Uganda and so he's encouraging this president of Africa that we must be independent so we must not borrow. So when Yoweri Museveni said that, I saw William Ruto <laughs> listening and watching restlessly as he was being terribly exposed unknowingly as this issue of borrowing has been a story of William Ruto. And at the same time he's saying that he's not borrowing, but he's borrowing. So this is the statement of Yoweri Museveni. <laughs> Electricity, we must have low cost electricity, not exceeding five cents per kilowatt hour. That's what I insist on in Uganda. I'm tired of all these stories. These are neo-colonial civil servants who have been holding us back. I have put my foot down, say so I don't want to hear those stories. And Uganda is developing and it will develop because I don't entertain that nonsense anymore. Borrowing for what? Capacity building. Imagine seminars. They, they, they call you in a, in a hotel, you eat chapati, you eat mandazi. They say that is a capacity building. Capacity building should be on the ground, not just seminars. So, the second point, excellence, is electricity. The third one, those people who talk about private sector aid growth, private sector aid growth. I have been trying to borrow money for our UDB, Uganda Development Bank, a bank which funds manufacturers. No, you don't, I don't get support for that. Instead, they want me to go, my people to go to commercial banks. But commercial banks cannot give, no, those commercial banks are to encourage imports. Are to encourage imports. Because the only person who can borrow money and pay it back from a commercial bank is a trader 
who goes to China, goes to where, Dubai, brings products, sells them quickly, and pays back. So, if you are serious, I need to hear about the low cost funding for manufacturing. Not for stories, not for what, 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 no manufacturing. The, how about funding for irrigation? Because if you want to stabilize agriculture, a country like Uganda is very... Aid has been for profiteering. This has been the problem. Now, the World Bank people and other groups have been talking of sustainable development. <clears throat> Even in your documents, I have seen that, those words there. Sustainable development. I am not going to be 80 years old. I have never seen sustainable pregnancy. That a woman is pregnant this year, the pregnancy continues next year, three years, four years, it never happens. In life, pregnancy develops sustainably within the womb of the, of the, of the, of the woman. Quantitatively, the baby is growing bigger and bigger. But at some stage, quantitative growth must be transformed into qualitative change. The pregnancy must become a baby. If the pregnancy remains pregnancy, the fetus will die. So therefore, I would even ask you to change those words in your documents. Africa does not need sustainable what? You could call it sustainable underdevelopment. Africa needs social economic transformation. The pregnancy must become a baby. The baby must grow and grow and become a teenager. The teenager must grow. That's what happens in life. You cannot have quantitative growth and you think you are doing anything. The, the main reason why there is no growth is because the growth factors are not funded. Now, ladies and gentlemen, maybe wakati nilikuwa na listen to Yoweri Museveni. He made my day. Why? Because we are having presidents like William Ruto. They will come out and praise these people. You know, as you know that the president of Walba was there. Alikuwa meketi kando ya William Ruto. We are having also those representatives representing IMF and other lending institutions, international lending institutions. So you are very to We will tell the truth. We will not accept to massage these people. I will not accept to tolerate these people by praising them. But on the other hand, we the people, we are suffering. Because when I claim Wamejenga Railway, one bank, Naizo, my lending institutions on a claim, Koba, that the one about Wamejenga Railway. You were in 70, went ahead and described that look at this railway in Tanzania, was built uh, by China. Look at the railway in Mejengwa, Kenya. In Mejengwa, China. So, this issue where we're being told stories after stories, stories after stories, we don't want. We want action. And what we want is that as a bank, we will lend money to support our people in the basis of making our country to develop. Not to make us to be like slaves, you know. But you know, William Ruto, our president, 
will always come out and praise these people. You know, you will come out and praise these people. Oh, these are this you are doing good job. But dawa ya hao watu inakwanga you wearing seven kama si you wearing seven inakwanga Paul Kagame. These people usually don't tolerate this individual. So even you wearing seven is coming out to say that um, these are pre-colonial leaders that are the they vamping themselves. Yani ni wale wale to colonize again they are coming back to control us on what to do and what not to do. So when I listen to me, the message of uh, Yoweri Museveni, I was happy because now that was the message. Before these individuals, before this World Bank, before the IMF, before the international uh, lending institutions, I was happy because this is the way to go. And this is the trajectory that all presidents in Africa must take so that if they are giving us their money, they must know that we can continue without their money. Why? Because we have our natural resources. But they're coming out to give us a little bit of what they have, then they exploit more than what they gave us. So the statement of Yoerim Seveni, I support 100% sure. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.